The raising of chickens now um, is just totally, totally different. Everything back when I was growing up and when my mother started the farm raising chickens, uh, it was a lot of more manual labor, a lot of, um, there were less chickens, the chickens grew for longer, the type of feed that was given to them, uh, they did not grow as fast. So there's a total different operation. Uh, we're controlling the temperature in the air in the houses. The changes that have been made on this farm in approximately 10 years as far as raising About chickens. the last seven years. Mm -hmm. Great changes. I don't believe that there's anything unhealthy in these chickens. Uh, just because they grow as fast as they do. I think it's just these chickens if, are genetically bred to do this. And it's not steroids, they just yeah. eat. Yeah, it's just, it's just they're, they're good. They're comfortable and they eat. It's just good quality feed that they have nutritionists mix for what they want. Do you know what's in the mix or no? Well, they put uh, some antibiotics in it just to, for the safety sake on the health of the chickens. Each house has uh, 27,600 or 110,400 chickens for the summer. And in winter time it's uh, 29,400 or 118,006. It, it's all about uh, maximum short run productive efficiency. Like uh, a factory process. Have only one choice you have no choice if this company that we grow broilers for decided to pull out of this area then we would be hurt because we we've got these chicken houses we would have nothing there they provide the chicken and the feed our job is to provide the buildings the equipment we provide the water and electricity and the labor and dependent upon the weight of your chicken and how much feed it took to get them to the four pounds and that's how we get compensated. So we're dependent, you might say, on the company. The past 25 to 30 years, big industry have basically mandated that if you want to be a part of our system, you must raise it this way, you must put up buildings this way, you must you know, use our inputs, you must market through our system. is a very hard-headed, practical, national security, public health argument for decentralizing the food system. Uh, the more species there are in a field, um, the less vulnerable it is to shocks, whether they be weather or disease or whatever they are. That is true with the food system, too. If